video experience right here. Um, <clears throat> basically, we have to use a program called Widescreen Fixer, and the version of World at War that we're using is 1.7, which is the newest one. So, <clears throat> in order to get this one working, we actually have to have the newest widescreen fixture, which is version uh, 1.66.0. Uh, I have three 24-inch monitors here uh, that are 1080p, so I'm going to have to go with a 16x9 widescreen resolution. Uh, currently, my desktop resolution is lower than that, and that's only because my power supply is a little bit weaker than it needs to be for an iThinity setup at that resolution. So I actually have to drop it lower in order to get the display port not to flicker the monitor and shut it off. I'll be fixing that later. But anyway, um, just load up World at War here, so you can see what it is. Now, the, the program itself, uh, the widescreen fixer rather, it's got a key bind in which you can change yourself. Uh, the default is the semicolon button. We're just going to click that right now so you can see the difference. There, it just kind of flips it right into the center there, and you can tell that you're getting a different resolution. So what we're going to do is we're going to resume an old game that I have. Just let it load for a second. Well, a couple more than a, than a second, rather. Now I've got my headset set up on this, my G35 headset, so you're not going to be able to hear any audio from the game itself. Now here's the actual in-game. Now we can go ahead and flip through so you can tell there's a difference. Take that grenade back. Oh, then I'm dead. But anyway, you can see the widescreen fixer with iFinity. And that's basically how it works. Um, you can have pretty much any resolution you want going and change the aspect ratio so that it works perfectly with your model.